Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and we're gonna do some more One Piece games on the online sim. Today I'm gonna be playing uh, Whitebeard, Ed aka Edward Newgate. Uh, this deck is based off of a recent top winning uh, deck in an online regional. It's not 100% a match, I did tweak some things, uh, mainly because I don't have the same amount of certain cards that the other one did, but I really like it. So, yeah, we're gonna play some games with it. All right, looks like we're going up against... Ooh, Red Green Luffy. I'm gonna go first. You know, not an awful hand. I'll take it. Okay. So we'll probably we'll start off with Nami. See if we can uh, what card we can find off that. We do positive positive vibes here. Well, that's no fun. Maybe he just didn't want to play against Whitebeard. Oh, Smoker. Okay, okay. You know what? This is also not a bad hand. I'll keep that, but it's... Oh, I'm going first. Positive vibes out here, people. Hmm. Let's take a Luffy. Pass turn. I'll draw off my life. All right, now for our three play. We'll start off by swinging in with Whitebeard. Mm, do I want this music or? Nah, I'll put my own music in. <laughs> Still dealing with a little bit of the sniffles though, by the way. Um, let's see, is a three cost? Uh, let's do. You know, I'll drop Frankie. <clears throat> I was really curious to see, like, as to why this uh, list ran Frankie, but I mean, like, it's not awful. A three cost 4k that when you throw a Don on him, he can attack on, uh, active characters. So he becomes a 5k with that Don. He can go after blockers, like, uh, like this guy. I wish he had counter power, though. That'd be really neat. Sometimes I always gotta make that decision if I want to uh, attack with her. Ooh, um, you know, I'll take it. Why not, you know? The good thing about Whitebeard is that yeah, he takes life every turn, so essentially you're drawing two cards per turn. But the downside is, yeah, you're just a lot more fragile of a cannon. Especially with Smoker can go up to 7k fairly easy. Which makes playing the one costs a little scary against it. Just starting to realize that. Okay. We'll swing 6k in. <clears throat> So he has to waste a 2k or he has to waste a blocker. I'm gonna throw a Dawn on him. There you go. We got four active dawn, um, you know. I'm gonna play Brook. Throw two, tap down dawn. Swing now 5k with Nami. Which at the end of this turn, I will be in active range for Radical Beam. 
so I'll get that 4k counter power, which is for uh, just one Dawn. And of course, I'll still be on for Guard Point. <laughs> I love the art on that card. Okay. Pass. Oh, look, another Guard Point. Maybe I'm just playing wrong when I can do my turn so quickly and everyone else is taking you know, taking a good year to do their turns. <laughs> Alright, so now he goes up to 7k. Solid. Goes after Frankie. Mm, don't like that. Not gonna block. But I will bump him up. I don't want to lose Frankie. Unless he's gonna play a Kobe. And then I'll feel sad. Knew it! Uh, yep, he knows that Frankie's a threat. Okay, now I've got seven, which now puts me in range of Ace, but not the right time to play Ace, I don't think. Um, Kobe's not that bad. Let's go 6k in. Well, that was rude. <sighs> Let's see. Let's go in with the 5k Nami. Got so many Otamas. I don't want to throw down the Vista yet. There's really nothing in here that I can play right now that's going to justify, like. Uh, I'm just gonna pass. That might have not been the greatest move, but I just want to save those Otamas for something big. Imagine dropping, paying three Dawn to drop something 6k and then bashing it with Vista. That would feel so good. I almost played this at my locals today, but we I ended up going with Zoro because I just didn't trust myself to play Whitebeard um, right off the bat because I have, haven't had a whole lot of practice with it, but this is such a fun deck. Ooh, um... Go ahead and ache. You know, no blocks, but we will guard point. <laughs> there we go. Okay. There's some things we want to get rid of. Can't be KO by blocker, by effects. That sucks. That's such a good card. Um, that's nine. So I think I'm going to have to do here. Deploy, KO. He's doing six dawn. Six K and two lead. Let's drop 6k with Nami. Okay. God, this card is so good. I'll in turn take my last life. <laughs> Why well, think that I made a previous video on my channel about how I think black is way overtuned? Um, this not the fact that it gets an additional 1k power and cannot be KO'd by effects. It's just is nuts. 
So one of Red's best cards, um, uh, Jet Hawk or Jet Pistol, whatever it is, um, could knock that out, but because it can't be KO'd by effects. Ooh, going after Nami now. Okay. Well, that's, uh, yeah, I'll let it happen. I think Nami has served her purpose. It'd be great if I could draw a white beard. But even then, I think it's too late to draw a white beard. Ugh, excuse me. Okay, this guy. This leader. Not, not, not leader, I'm sorry. This character, in my opinion, is absolutely busted. It's way too good of a card. Um, the fact that it's negging all things 5k, that should not have been an ability. A permanent, essentially, because I play Dragon Ball Super primarily, but a permanent ability that knocks everything down by 5 is just busted. Okay, um, I now have to be on the defensive. At least until he taps it down. If I can get him to tap it down, I could probably get rid of it. But. <laughs> 8k into Kobe. Okay, that's really all I can do. And anybody that's going to type in the comments, like, oh, you're complaining about that card. Like, that's the best secret rare in the game. Hands down. It should have just got the on play, neg something down five, like, neg everything down five, and KO cost, a card with a cost of zero. That should have been just both on play abilities, not uh, an entirely, like, like, a permanent effect. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, didn't really see that. Okay, time to do the math. Nine, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Twenty-one. Jesus. But now I literally have just 2k combo power. But he can't attack with anything else. I think the, whoever I'm playing is probably like, are you kidding me? Man just out comboed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I had to get rid of all the Atamas, but now I'm kind of mad. I kind of wish I didn't use one of the Atamas and just use this Luffy instead. Because I can go after him. I need to get rid of him. I have this Luffy. Pump him up by 10. He, see, I'm going to have to pump him up by like the rest of my Dawn. But then that's going to leave me pretty much defenseless next turn. Or I could play this for seven, knock him down by three, but then he just still blocked with that. Yeah, this is the only way. This is the way. Well, actually, hold on. Swinging with Whitebeard first. We like to have fun here. Okay, so we drop that. So that's four, so it needs a 10k. Not enough. He has to be, can't block. Oh wait, no, he already did block, fuck. I was distracted. Oh, don't look at that. I have 3k combo power. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> mm. He's 
test in the waters, because then he's going to drop all nine. Yep, there you go. All nine. No blocker. And I lose. GG. Oh, he disconnected. Uh, all right, well, I did not play that the best I probably could. Um, I didn't realize at that moment that he blocked with it. I was a little distracted. Uh, but damn. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the game and what I should have done differently. Um, are you enjoying Whitebeard? Uh, are, do you also hate the color black in this game? Let me know in the, colors, uh, the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Here's how the story goes, we find out by the treasure in the grand line, there's no doubt. The pirate whose eye is on it, he'll sing, I'll be king of the pirates, I'm gonna be king. Yago, 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 oh, oh. His name is Luffy, that's Monkey D. Luffy. Luffy.